It is March 1st. I'm going out to that same McDonald's I was at about a week ago to change out that compressor. Um, it was a Bristol Scroll compressor. We're going back with a Dan Foss Scroll three phase compressor. So, get some film of that and have some HVAC fun. As a precaution, I double checked to see if there's any acid content, and there was not, so that's good news. Uh, just a regular old compressor failure, no burnouts, and things like that. Um, so, I'll go ahead and proceed with the recovery and get to work out here, taking out the old Bristol Scroll. Hey, the uh, Zatco Mega Flow is hooked up, increasing the evacuation and the recovery time by double. But it does, a, it does a pretty good job. I'll probably get, it'd be nice to have a little 3 connector between these two, but definitely faster than uh, my gauges. So, I'm taking the charge out here. As soon as I get done, I'll put the old compressor out, uh, put the old dryer out, and uh, go ahead and make the changes necessary to make this function. The power is now off to the machine. I was letting it run while we were doing some of the other stuff. Place the contactor here. I'm also going to add. It is the ICM 401. Basically, it's just a phase monitor, just kind of a low cost one to let you know if something is uh, going on. If you lose a phase or something becomes reversed, it'll throw it into a fault and shut it down, which is good. And this is kind of an inexpensive version of it. If it was a nicer compressor, we might go for the, the one with the program and the LED display and stuff like that. But just spend about 25 bucks and you can. Uh, have some low-cost protection for your brand new compressor so nothing bad happens and makes you look like a jackass. Alright, the ICM 401 is in place. I have L1, L2, L3 along the bottom here to monitor the phase. Up top, low voltage controls, Y out and Y in, and common. If the monitor senses there's something wrong, something's out of phase, if it lose a phase, all sorts of phase problems, it will shut down the compressor and cause a fault signal. That way we don't do damage to the compressor if it loses a leg and tries to run single phase or something like that. So that's the idea. Maybe we can prevent an electrical failure in the future. And it's relatively inexpensive in doing that. And it runs down through here. Then where the fuse block is for the compressor and the heater comes up through here and runs down here to the low voltage area. And then intercept the Y signal there and get the common signal there. And then everything else goes to the top of the contactor. Alright. Well, my help is almost here. Uh, the 5 ton compressor is a hoss. So, I don't want to lug it up with the rope by myself here. Uh, I might be able to do it, but it might be the last thing I do. So, I'm going to get brother to help. <laughs> and we're charging the unit up to six pounds, eight ounces. We have six ounces to go. Everything's running smoothly here at 50 degrees. And we're pissing off everybody eating at McDonald's right now. But we are almost done. The Zebra Stats got the unit running. And uh, we're about to be done and shut everything down so they can have electric heat again. The old York is all squared away now. It's got a new Dan Foss three phase scroll compressor in there. Sounds good. It's running in AC right now. Here down in there. Shaky, shaky. That's the blower. Uh, New York, and it looks like I guess one of those Sunline. Uh, maybe John, you can correct me if I'm wrong about that. Uh, five ton, straight cool with electric heat. Uh, about 12, 13 kW at 208. So all done here. Got a phase monitor mounted inside this panel here. It's indicating right now there is no fault, which is great. And we're all done for today. About to leave McDonald's, go home. Do not eat here. If you looked inside of there, you would never want to eat at McDonald's again.